So it's a beautiful problem uh, which is related to Fibonacci. So there is a frog and it's standing on the zero step. So this is zero step, first, second, third, fourth, fifth and so on. And this frog has a habit of either jumping one step ahead or leaping. So leaping this and moving uh, the, to the second step from it. Now the question asks in how many ways from the zero step can this frog land to the hundredth step? So, what we do is, let's say, uh, let's say, there are, there is a intermediate n plus oneth step. This is n plus oneth step. And to land on this n plus oneth step, there are tn plus one number of ways. So, to land on the nth step, there will be tn number of ways. To land on the n minus oneth step, to, will be uh, tn minus one number of ways. So, if it has to land on the n plus oneth step, what will be its previous position? Either the frog will be on the nth step or it will be on the n minus 1th step. So either it will be on the nth step and it will jump or it will be on the n minus 1th step and it will leap. So these are the two ways in which the frog can land on the n plus 1th step. So we can say to landing on the n plus 1th step, the number of ways in which it can uh, reach nth step into uh, 1 plus number of ways into uh, in which it can land on the n minus 1 step into 1 because it will leap. So tn plus 1 is tn plus tn minus 1. And what, what we know is if this is 0 step and this is first step, if this is first step, so to land on the first step there is only one way, it will leap. And uh, so t1 is 1. And what is t2? To land on the second step there are two ways, it will jump and it will again jump, jump, jump or it will leap from here to here. So T2 is 2. So now we have initial conditions and we have a relationship. And in uh, shorts, YouTube shorts, I have uh, taught you how to find the solution of this equation. Just make a quadratic equation. So I'll, I'll put the those YouTube shorts links in the comment box. Uh, so that if you want to look how to solve this equation, you can go through those shorts. So if this is the equation, Tn plus 1 is equal to Tn plus Tn minus 1. So I'll make a quadratic equation which is which says t square is equal to t plus 1 and the roots of this quadratic equation will be uh, t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0 will be t is equal to 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. So as I have to, taught you that tn can be written as a times of 1 plus root 5 by 2 power n plus b into 1 minus root 5 by 2 power n and t1 and t2 are 1 and 2 we have uh, this thing we have manually calculated this. So uh, if uh, we use this equation we can say t2 is equal to t1 plus t0 so this means t2 is 2 t1 is 1 so t0 will come 1 so t0 is 1 now what is t0 so if this is tn i put n is equal to 0 so i'll get this number as 1 this number as 1 so a plus b is equal to 1 and if I'll put n is equal to 1, so a into 1 by 2 plus root 5 by 2 plus b into 1 by 2 minus root 5 by 2, this is equal to t1, which is also 1. So a into 1 plus root 5 by 2 plus b into 1 minus root 5 by 2 is equal to 1. So what I did is, I said, okay, let's make it a by 2 plus b by 2 plus root 5 by 2 a minus b. So plus root 5 by 2 a minus b is equal to 1. And what is a plus b? 1 from t0 we have calculated. So a plus b is 1. So this number becomes half. So half plus root 5 by 2 a minus b is equal to 1. So a minus b is 1 by root 5. So if we have a plus b, we have a minus b, we got a and b. And by this, we get the nth term tn. So tn is this. So this is the number of ways of landing on the nth step. So if I'll put n is equal to 100, I'll get 1 plus root 5 uh, raised to power 101 divided by 2 root 5 minus 1 minus root 5 key power 101 divided by 2 root 5. These are the number of ways in which this frog can land on the 100th step. So this is a question of permutation, combination and sequences series both. And a similar question has come in IIT J advance. So I'll put in uh, some other video where I'll uh, show you that question and the similarity to that question with this question. Thank you very much.